guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to Amateur Scent Hour, Scent Sunday here on the channel. Today I'm really excited because I am doing the commodity video. <laughs> I have had this commodity sampler set for a while. I bought this maybe in January. Like I bought this a while ago um, and so I've already sniffed everything and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you guys. In that time, I've actually become a commodity affiliate. So I do have a coupon code for these fragrances. I was actually gifted one of the fragrances too. So we'll get into that. But I was initially interested in commodity myself and went and purchased this massive sampler set from them. I was really intrigued by the idea of the scent spaces that they have going on with their fragrances. And so I just, I had to know and I really actually love this sampler set from them because I think it's laid out really nice. Mine no longer has the uh, strips with it but it actually came with uh, tester strips which I think is really fun and I actually <laughs> smelled this with friends at a bar like that's what we were doing. It was outside. I wouldn't spray perfumes inside my goodness but um, that was really fun to do so um, yeah <laughs> it's a nice one for kind of a community sampling and trying on. I really like Commodity as a house because I feel like their stuff is really focused on being unisex. Um, so it doesn't have anything that I feel like is overtly like maybe feminine. I do think maybe things lean a little bit masculine if they're gonna go anywhere, but I think they're wearable by anyone and I really like those types of scents. So that's something that really attracted me to the house. And like I mentioned, they have this thing called scent space. So in the sampler, you get this whole pamphlet. They really like give you the literature, okay? <laughs> so the personal scents, which have the minus sign next to them, those are meant to be something that really only you can smell and maybe someone in your bubble as they like come close to you. But it's meant to have like a trace of the expressive um, version of the fragrance. So something a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. I find there's a lot of like more musks and like molecule type scents in these perfumes. And these ones retail for $105. Then there's the expressive. This is kind of the mid range. So this one's meant to be a perfect balance of longevity and projection. It's supposed to make a statement without being too overpowering. And those retail for $100. $25 and then in the bold we have like the strongest the most amplified version of the perfumes and these are designed to make your presence known these ones retail for $145 and kind of the idea behind the scent space is to have a easy way to tell how a perfume is going to perform and what you're going to use it for instead of having like colognes EDTs EDPs you know extraits that type of stuff it was meant to kind of condense it down make it really easy to digest and something you would know just straight off and that also I think reflects the price difference between them and kind of the strengths behind them. So we're just going to get into it because it's already going to be such a long video. I have my thoughts on which ones are my favorite out of all of them so I'm going to do my best to try to describe the differences I smell between each of them and I know some of you guys have bought the sampler already so if you have it at home I think it'd be fun to like do it together and I don't know if I have them in the, the correct order I kind of just put them back in here so it'd look all nice and presentable. So we're going to start off with paper and paper is is one of my favorite of the scents, like out of all, all the ones we're gonna smell. So we're starting with a good one, starting with the personal one. Mm, this is a very clean, woody scent. I smell a lot of musk coming off from this. I feel like I smell something kind of molecular in here. It's very like light and airy and there's a slight like burnt note to it like at the end that I really enjoy. But it's a really nice light and airy scent. Really love that one. On the website there's really like three notes that it mentions. So in the top it has ISO E Super. In the mid it has skin musk and then it talks about having amber as well. I'm someone who loves Molecula One and that's what this smells like but it has a little bit something more. I feel like that amber note is just really, really nice. And again, kind of gives it something slightly burnt, which I, I really love that kind of toasty smell. So that is paper uh, personal. Next we have paper expressive. Oh, this one already is richer. It's already something more. I can definitely smell some musks, but there's something kind of sweet going on. Um, definitely sweeter than the other one. It's woodsy. I think it's a little bit more masculine than the first one. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> I really like this one too. I wrote on here that it has a slightly fresh, spicy, masculine note to the wood. On my skin, this wasn't the, my favorite one out of the three, um, but smelling it on the paper, I really do, <laughs> I really do like it. On my skin, it was a little less remarkable than the other two, so this is my least favorite out of the papers. The notes on 
on this one are Iso E Super, Cedar Wood, and Sandalwood. I think that Sandalwood's adding something maybe a little creamy to this, and I, I do really love a Sandalwood note, so it's very nice. There's almost something spicy as well, like just barely, like, you know, there's something that's giving it, I guess, that more masculine scent to me. And then last for paper, we have the Expressive version. And this one doesn't have that creamy note to it, I don't find at all. The notes on this are Iso E Super, Cedarwood, Vetiver, and then Sandalwood in the base. This one's rich while being more crispy. So again, I don't think it has that same like creamy note to it. And it kind of reminds me of something in the vein of like, you know, Santal 33, something like that. Just because of how woody it is, it has a little bit of dryness, a little bit of spice, a little bit of richness. It's very, very nice. In my notes, I wrote that this one to me on my skin, cause again, skin is so different. I picked up something kind of woody, vanilla and amber in this um, with a slight deodorant undertone. That's what I put. It has a little bit of spice. It's refreshing. I wrote on here that this is a more masculine version of Lee's bow which I find Lebo is the more feminine version of like Santal 33. Like it has a vanilla note, but it's not sweet along with some woodiness. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense that I compared it to Santal 33. And then I also put on here that it smells like you're wearing your boyfriend's shirt. So like on me, this feels like worn in and like I'm wearing my husband's shirt, you know? Like it smells kind of like him, but I'm wearing it. I don't know, it has that kind of vibe to it. So I feel like it gets a little bit more masculine as you get into to the expressive and bold versions. Nothing that I wouldn't wear, but definitely something to consider. Again, I, I always suggest sampling stuff <laughs> before just going in for a full bottle. But um, yeah, as I ranked them on my skin, which I wanna remember because just on paper, it's just so different. Things change, different notes come out of your skin more. I ranked the number one as actually the paper expressive. So kind of that boyfriend shirt smell. That was my favorite one. It was one that just kept wafting up to me and um, I just felt the most connected to the most that I would want to purchase a bottle like I ranked these by which one I would buy first so paper expressive was my favorite then we have paper personal was my second favorite and then the third one was the expressive paper the middle one so overall really enjoy paper I think it's a nice scent um, and I think if you like molecule and those woody scents I think you would you would like that one next we're gonna go on to book I know these are all like one word titles I was like talking about another video and someone's like yeah they're all commodities I was like, oh my gosh, like mind blown, hello. This one immediately, even in the personal scent one for book, it comes off kind of spicy to me, like that's what I get. I'm gonna read you guys the fragrance notes from the website. This has notes of bergamot in the top, some black tea in the top, then in the mid, it has some cedar wood, some skin musk and amorous. And then in the base, it has some sandalwood. I think that black tea is maybe adding something spicy. It definitely, I don't know why. I pick up something a little, a little like spicy to my nose. It also could be the wood notes because they are kind of dry. Again, on my skin, this one came off a little bit masculine. Um, I, I don't know. I just felt like the woodiness, the kind of fresh spicy scent that I'm getting, that's how it read to me. I wrote in my notes also that if you like Tay Noir from Lily, Labo. I mean, this has that black tea note. It has some woody notes. I just feel like maybe this is something to try out. To me, that fragrance is like buzzy and like warm and kind of velvety. This one doesn't quite have the warmth that that one does, kind of like that depth, but this has like a woodier kind of base to it and almost a freshness because the bergamot as well. So I really like that one. That one's my favorite out of the three. Next for the expressive or the middle one, this is very similar to the, the other book. It's like richer, but this also for some reason, it reads melon to me. <laughs> There's like a melon note to it. It's so odd. I smelled all of these and like wrote down my notes before I looked up the actual like fragrance notes that are in there. And I felt like this was drier, a little bit spicier, but then it has a melon, <laughs> a weird like sweetness um, that kind of comes off as melon. So there is some aromatics in this one. This has eucalyptus in the top, bergamot and violet. It has cedarwood, sandalwood and amorous in the mids and then musk, amber and vetiver in the base. And I just think that the eucalyptus, uh, there must be something with that, maybe something with the violet, like adding some sweetness with the violet and then the eucalyptus that somehow for me comes together as a melon node. Um, I can also see how this would read like foresty or kind of outdoorsy 
cozy like that, like a um, green plants in the forest or something. Almost something kind of cold to it, you know, like like it's a crispy air in, in a, a green forest. It's nice, but I don't like, um, yeah, I think it's the violet and the eucalyptus playing together. The, the melon note for me, <laughs> as I read it, isn't my, my favorite one of the three. And then for the bold book, this is just like the strongest version of book. I feel like they're, these ones are quite similar-ish to each other. It smells pretty dry and woody to me, but in a deeper way than the original. The original has a lightness to it. I feel like the musk really comes out, especially in the dry down on this one. Whereas I don't read the musks as much on my skin. Like there's other notes overpowering that in the other two. And that's kind of a running theme also with all of these. It's pretty funny. I feel like for all of these, I either like the bold or I like the personal. And the middle one to me kind of gets lost. I think that's just interesting. I'd love to know um, if you find that. I don't know. I feel like the middle one just kind of was like, Meh. I'd rather like turn it down a ton and have like one thing kind of be prominent or turn it up a ton and, and let's really do something than the kind of middle ground one. For whatever reason, I don't get that same sweet melon note. Like there's something going on with this one, but it's definitely not as strong as in the expressive. The notes on this are eucalyptus and violet, then cedarwood and sandalwood in the mid, and then velvet musk and smoke in the base. And I think that smoke is where we're getting the most, uh, you know, just kind of depth in this one, the richness. I love a smoky note, so <laughs> I think it smells nice in here. I don't think that it's anything too smoky at all. I don't think it even really reads super smoky to me. So it just adds a nice depth, but definitely another one that's quite woody. And I could see kind of reading a little bit more masculine. If I were to rank them, my favorite is book personal one. Then I like the bold. And then last is the middle one, the expressive. Next, we're moving on to milk this is one of my favorite ones i just think honestly for this one i wouldn't mind having all of them like i i just think milk is great so we're gonna start with the milk that i actually have the bottle of this is the one that i picked out basically from the sampler this is one that they sent me mm, this one is so sweet there's something kind of powdery about it this has a milk note to it um but oh there's like this pure sweetness going through it that i really enjoy i do pick up something kind of powdery and almond but not quite to me going into the realm of like cherry smelling. Um, I have to be kind of careful with almond notes because I, I get a cherry scent pretty easily. But this one I feel like still stays almond without going too cherry for me. There's some musks in this. There's also some woody notes, but I really pick up on a lot of that sweetness. Like that's what comes across the most for me on this. Mm, and it's just like delicious sweetness that I just want to keep smelling. I just want to keep smelling. I think this is a great one for layering and that's how I like to use it the most is like adding it to other woody fragrances that I have that maybe don't have that sweetness, but I want to add something. I feel like a lot of the more personal scents could do really well with layering and adding a little oomph to different fragrances you might have. I definitely think that's like a nice way to wear them. This has notes of skin musk, cashmere woods in the top, amber in the mid, and then mahogany wood and white cedar in the base. I love how this is super sweet while not being too heavy, even though there's something lactonic about it. I think that's something kind of special about this fragrance. I don't find it heavy, even though um, it kind of has like a marshmallowy scent to it as well. It's very, very nice, obviously. I like it a lot because it's the one I picked. Next, we have the Milk Expressive. This one immediately isn't as sweet to me as the Milk Personal. It doesn't quite have, I mean, I feel like the Personal one, all it, it's like right on the cusp of being a little sickening lace. Like it's pretty sweet. This one's not nearly as sweet. It's more musky to me. It's very nice. Like I like this one as well. Like I, I like all the Milk ones so much. I feel like this one's a little bit more balanced um, in, in the way that it has like that lactonic sweetness and kind of almondiness with the woods and the musk. And so I feel like it's a nice one on its own. Whereas like when I think of this, I do think of it a little more as a tool to layer with than I think of it of like just wearing it alone, probably not how I'm gonna wear this the most. Whereas I feel like this milk is that, but being wearable on its own. It's like I've added something kind of woody to that scent to kind of tone it down a little. This one has notes of cold milk accord in the top. It has skin musk and warm marshmallow in the mid notes and then mahogany wood and tonka bean in the base. I find with all the milk perfumes, there is something that I read as like almondy and also something quite powdery, especially in the dry down. This one definitely, as you wear it, 
gets powderier and powderier. So just something to note, I like it, but it definitely changes from that opening and how it wears on my skin. And last, the one that has me questioning, should I pick the Milk Personal or should I have picked the Milk Bold? Because I really like the Milk Bold. This is the scent I decided to wear today because I was like, man, I just really do like it. Mm, this is the richest of all of them. And this almost has something like cinnamon to me. I don't know why that's what my nose picks up. In the opening of this, there's something a little bit burnt in there, like kind of toasty. And I literally just think in my head, this is like cinnamon Teddy Grahams. Like that's what I get from this. <laughs> mm, it's so good. There's something kind of warm and a little bit spicy, but it's subdued with that milk. It's like dipping little Teddy Grahams, cinnamon Teddy Grahams in milk. With a glass of milk, you're chomping them down. So, so good. This one though, as it dries down again, that powderiness on my skin definitely comes out. So I lose a little bit of like the richness. It starts getting a little powdery, but still one I really, really enjoy. Again, I pick up something kind of almondy in this, but I just think milk is beautiful. I think it's pretty unique as well. Um, when I think of like different gourmands and different smells that I've smelled, of different perfumes that I've smelled, I do think that there's something really really fun and unique and different with milk. And I really love this one in their line. So if I had to rate them, I did put the, you know, milk personal as my number one, but ugh, the bold one is number two and a close second, a close second, if not tied. And then I put the milk expressive again, the middle one <laughs> as last. I don't know. I don't know why that was the trend, but that definitely was as I was ranking these. I just realized I didn't read you the notes in the bold one, so let's do that. There's cashmere woods in the top, skin musk in the top, then in the mids there's tonka bean and marshmallow, and then in the base amber and firewood accord. That's that toasty thing I was telling you about. Nothing in here reads or says that there's like a cinnamony note, but I don't know. I get something kind of spicy. Maybe that's the fire. I don't know. What my brain says is cinnamon teddy grams, so okay. Cinnamon teddy grams with a glass of milk. I love it, I freaking love it. Next, we're moving on to gold and we're gonna start with obviously the personal one. Mm, I really love gold as well. That is one of the ones this says Isoe Super. I am a sucker. I'm telling you, Isoe Super is one of my favorite of the molecule type scents. Like so good. And it just stays so long on your clothes. Even when you think it's not there, you'll catch whiffs of it. I love that. In the mid, there's vanilla. And then we have amber and sandalwood. I mean, is that not like a perfect, simple, woody vanilla fragrance like it's so so good the vanilla in here is not too super sweet at all though so I don't feel like it's going to be overpowering you could wear this at any time of year you know like that sweetness isn't really coming through from the vanilla the amber has a really nice richness to it too I really like amber on my skin sometimes I have to be careful like amber can sometimes smell a little spitty on me like <laughs> I know that's weird but uh, you know depending on the amber and like the other notes I don't know what it is sometimes it can smell like a little bit like someone's wet hot mouth <laughs> You know, I don't know. Tell me, tell me if Amber does that to you. I wrote in my notes on my skin. This is like a woody vanilla with that molecule scent, airy and thinner and drier than the original gold, like the expressive version. I almost smell something slightly spicy, just barely in this, but it's beautiful. I really love this, especially for um, like a warmer skin scent. That's not too warm though. Again, a, you could wear it any time of year, but it's not as like, sometimes with the molecule scents, they can they can read a little cold to me, like they're woody or dry. Um, and um, they just don't always have like a warmth to them, but this one's really beautiful with that vanilla and amber, like so good. Really love that one. Next for the expressive, this one immediately passed Powdery. It's one of the first things I smell when I smell this is just like definitely more powdery than the last one in my notes I said it's a powdery vanilla amber with an underlying spice or a medicinal note like I get something kind of medicinal It's sweet, but again not overly sweet at all. Definitely not like milk I mean milk is on its own. It's in its own place Like you know this vanilla adds a creaminess and it adds something slightly sweet But it's definitely not one of those like foodie vanillas to me. This one's really Really nice. I could see someone wearing this, hugging you, and it's smelling really soft. Again, that powderiness coming through. I feel like it's kind of simple, but it's still really nice. The notes on this, juniper berries and a creamy musk in the top. Then we have vanilla and amber in the mid, and then sandalwood and benzoin in the base, or benzoin. It's a nice one. It's solid. I feel like it's a warm 
goo of a fragrance. I know that's weird, but <laughs> you came here to know what I think. That's what I want to describe it as, a warm goo of a fragrance. Okay, then we're gonna go into Gold Bold. Ooh, and this one is definitely stronger, definitely different than the other ones. This has something kind of masculine to me as well, something kind of spicy to it, a little bit fresh. There is some of that vanilla, but it's definitely spicier. So in the top, we have saffron, oak moss, mid vanilla, and then we have patchouli and nutmeg in the base. Definitely smelling that patchouli for sure. This is sexy to me. Like this is a sexier fragrance. Definitely something more date night appropriate. At least that's how I think of it. Something that you'd wear at night. But there's some nice vanilla in there too to kind of sweeten it and soften it, but not a lot. I don't feel like that's taking over. If you guys have smelled Henry Rose's Dark Is Night, I I really love the mix of vanilla and patchouli in that. I feel like you're really getting a half and half blend where that vanilla is really kind of smothering the patchouli. And I think that's so beautiful and I love it so much. Um, but this one's not like that. I would say, I definitely feel like that vanilla is just maybe more like 20%, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it, the patchouli is overtaking it a little, but it's nice in there. On my skin, I said that this is spicier than the gold. It smells kind of like the holidays, like something about maybe the nutmeg in there, maybe that the saffron in the top, like something kind of spicy about it reminds me of the holidays and getting together, those type of cooking spices. I wrote that as this dried down, I really felt like it got more and more worn in smelling. So um, I like it better. It kind of warms up to your skin, kind of meshes with your skin, meshes with your clothes, feels like you've been wearing it for a long time, like that type of smell. And I also felt like it reminded me of like hugging an uncle. <laughs> so it kind of reminds me of that. It can be date night sexy, but also can remind me of hugging my uncle at a Christmas party, probably. <laughs> probably what's going on there memory wise. But yeah, definitely a little bit masculine to me. When I ranked these, I ranked the middle one actually best. Smelling on paper, I would rank the gold personal, but I must have liked it on my skin better, the regular gold. Um, then I ranked gold personal. And then last, I, I ranked gold bold. I think that's definitely the one I would want to purchase least out of everything. But I do like this one, especially if you want something that has those vanilla notes, but it isn't like milk. It's not super, super sweet like that. We have two more scents to go. Next, we're gonna do moss. And I have to admit, moss is the one I don't love. Moss is not my favorite one. It's my least favorite one, I guess, out of all of this scents. So let's go through it. Let's talk about it. Moss is like a scent, like, like the idea of oak moss is something I love in theory, but I've learned through actually smelling. Oak moss isn't my favorite, ooh, but the personal is my favorite of the mosses. This has such a beautiful, bright citrus, like bergamot opening. I really, really love that. It doesn't stay. It doesn't stay, unfortunately. It's definitely in that opening, but mm, it's so fresh. If you ever went on California Adventure, like the ride, um, I know they've changed it, I think, now, but they used to have this thing where they'd go through the redwoods and um, then they'd go through like the, the orange, like a citrus tree orchard, maybe? <laughs> Is that what they're called? And it reminds me of that. There's something about this that feels very like Pacific Northwest to me um, with uh, a citrus note, but something cooling and just like, vibrant forest citrus it's very very nice on my skin the dry down that that's kind of what got me is that it got a little syrupy i don't know what it was it just got a little stale smelling and a little syrupy and also we you know you lose that bergamot and i really wish that stayed so the notes on this are bergamot in the top iso -E super um also in the top in the mid we have skin musk and then finally pedigrain and i don't know if that is what that syrupy smell is i don't know definitely my favorite out of the moss though so if you want something a little bit light i feel like that's the most refreshing one to me out of the bunch everything else even if it's light and airy um because it's more like musky and woody i don't know that one's like the most refreshing to me almost kind of reminds me of a, a summer day in like yeah northern california next we have the moss expressive oh this one is just orange blossom that's like what i smell <laughs> i do not like orange blossom <laughs> I'm not a fan. So it's just not for me. If you like orange blossom, this would be the one you should try out. Moss, regular moss. I just, I'm just not the biggest fan. I don't know. I knew as soon as I smelled this, I was like, I don't like that. And then, you know, trying, I'm trying really hard to get better at like trying to name the notes I think are in it, like the prominent ones at least before again, looking at the notes. And I was so happy that I was like, once I realized this definitely has that orange blossom. So 
This has grapefruit and bergamot in the top, pettigrain and orange blossom in the mid, and then cedarwood and oak moss in the base. Just not for me. It's very summery smelling. Again, pretty fresh and um, one of the most floral, I guess, we're gonna get out of everything, but definitely still very unisex. Like anyone could wear that fragrance for sure. I know I say this every time, but like anyone can wear any fragrance anytime you want. Live your life, do your thing. I love that. Last for moss, moss bold. I just don't like this. <laughs> this is the one I really don't, I don't love. It smells like, your uncle got a hold of orange blossom. <laughs> it smells like your uncle in Northern California. <laughs> I definitely get where the other fragrances come in, but this one's just richer, it's spicy, it has that patchouli in it. Some of my notes on this were that it has a fresh, spicy, again, something kind of masculine to this one. <laughs> I said it smells like a really nice men's deodorant. In the top, this has bergamot and juniper berry and violet. It has elemy and amber in the mid and then patchouli and oak moss in the base. And it's just not, it's not the one for me, for sure. I definitely think if you're gonna go with one that the personal moss is my fave, but again, and not really my fave out of all of them really. And then last we have Velvet and I feel like Velvet is a complicated little one for me. I really love the name of Velvet and I do think that the scent matches it but it's definitely one for me that takes a little bit like I'm gonna need a little more experience with it to really feel it out and feel if it's for me. Basically I'm saying I think that I, this could grow on me even more but it's not quite there yet. This comes off very powdery to me. There's something nice and sweet though about it. Almost kind of burnt to me as well. Like there's something, I guess, toasty. When I say burnt, I don't mean smoke. It's not even like savory. Yeah, it's just kind of, I think toasty maybe is the best way to really say that. My notes on my skin that this was a really dry wood scent. It has something kind of spicy, almost something kind of almondy as well. I mean, again, with that powder, maybe, I don't know, in the sweetness. This has clove bud in the top, vanilla flower, and rose petals in the mid and then skin musk is what they credit on here so definitely an interesting one it almost smells this is so weird this smells like a sawdust cookie dough or like some type of sweet dough that you're cooking with um, maybe like almond dough with sawdust and some sweetness I could get that I, I, I that reads to me <laughs> but it's nice I like it <laughs> next we have velvet in the expressive I just sprayed it all over my hand. This is, to me, very similar to the personal, just stronger. It's just stronger and something nice and rich. I like this one, actually. I like it. I'm telling you, Velvet is one that I go back and forth on. I'm like, do I like this? I don't know, but I think I do like it. The notes on this for the expressive on their site say white birch coconut water, mm, vanilla and amber in the mid, and then roasted almonds and rose petals. So maybe the other one does have some almonds in it. Has something kind of woody and creamy to it. I can definitely smell that vanilla, but again, it's not too sweet of a va vanilla. It's just creamy and just sweet enough. I also can smell something again kind of spicy in here. Um, I do get, I don't know, it reads almost like trees or something kind of green, something kind of fresh like that. And I don't know if that's the rose petals, like the rose going on, but it's nice. It's interesting though, because I ranked this number three out of all of them, but I'm telling you on the skin, things change so much. So I'm going to go with what I thought smelling it on me <laughs> and not change my thing just by smelling them on the paper. And last, let's finish this up. This is Velvet Bold. Oh, this is just spice. This is kind of incense -y to me. This uh, When I first smell this and on my skin, I get almost like a synthetic oud type of note. Something kind of burnt, something, yeah, to me, I pick up something like what I feel like oud smells like in other fragrances. Um, I believe there's patchouli in this one and that's what's doing that, but um, I also think of like incense at the Catholic Church. Again, especially on my skin, I feel like it gets more powdery like that and like more smoky and incense -y like that. So um, for this one, the notes are crisp amber in the top and saffron, roasted almonds and labdanum in the mid, and then patchouli and smoke in the base. So maybe that's where the kind of incense-y smokiness is coming from, but definitely on my skin, I feel like that comes out even more um, and something really rich. Like I said, I get something almost like oud and something kind of burnt. I do like this. I just feel like this is a very specific scent. Like I'm not wearing this all the time. And I think this would be really delicious mixed with like, let's say milk personal, you know, <laughs> add something a little sweet. I think that would be more how I would want to wear it. Cause it, it adds something kind of like sexy and girly on its own. It's like sexy for sure. And just like strong, but adding a little sweet touch, I feel like is more, yeah, my style. I wrote on here though, that um, I definitely feel like as it dries down, it gets more and more powdery. So just something to be aware 
aware of and I don't love how that powderiness comes out as it dries down as much as I love more the opening and that first bit of wear. So for Velvet, let me give you the ranking. I put the Velvet Personal as my number one, Velvet Bold as my number two, and then Velvet you know, expressive, the normal, the middle one as my number three. So those are all my thoughts on the fragrances. I think that this is a really fun house and something that I'm really into. I'm learning that definitely there are houses that I like get on with and ones that I don't. And commodity to me is definitely one that I feel like I do get on with. One that uh, like, you know, it's a joy smelling the sampler. Not all samplers are like that. Some are a little bit rough and you're just like, okay, do any of these smell even remotely good? Um, and this one, fun to do with like again friends I think that is the best way to do it so I'd love to know what your favorite scent from commodity is again I think oh it's kind of a tie between milk personal and milk bold bold is so good you guys I really like that one I'd also love to get paper that's one that's on my list I do like the personal but I think on that one I would go with the bold one the bold paper it smells so good gold is also one of the scents I really enjoy um but yeah those are just some of my thoughts I'd love to know any of your thoughts on these perfumes do you have any of these how do you like to wear them what are your favorite combinations because I definitely think that's something with this too where they can layer together and kind of you know switch it up add a little personal here a little bold there and I think that's really fun too but I'm gonna end the video here I'm so glad to finally have gotten the commodity video up again I do have a code with them I am affiliated with them which is awesome so you can use that code and save a little bit of money on the site if you want to but yeah tons more scent videos to come I am excited to share those with you like I said before I wish there were more Sundays in the week because I really have a lot but I can't wait for next Sunday and my next video so thank you so much for being here I'll see you in those videos bye guys